All right guys, so here's the scoop. This is actually an older video. I made it about two years ago but I never made plans and I had I really meant to. I had so many comments asking for plans and da 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 and I just feel like the old version is just a little outdated. It's kind of buried in the videos I've made since. Plus, we've gotten a lot more subscribers, thanks to you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, following my little rant here, I'm just gonna upload that video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you have seen it and you wanted the plans, they're gonna be linked in the description. So yeah, do I have peanut butter on my face? Life is brief. Don't let that get you Jesus. down. Don't let that get you down. Perfect. Morning, team. This is what we're doing this morning. We are starting another project. It's gonna be a media shelf, or I'm calling it a media shelf. It's hopefully gonna look something like this. And a friend of mine from the gym asked me to make it. It's just gonna sit below their TV so they can put their Apple TV and their VCR. Well, nobody really has VCRs anymore, but electronics for your TV under it. And it's a cool idea found online and just kind of wants his own version of it. So that's what we're gonna start on today. Uh, we'll break down this plywood. I've got one sheet of three quarter inch maple. I think that's gonna be all we need. Typical 92 nails fashion. Didn't measure it, so I may have to make her on the lows. Good morning as always. So we've got, these are gonna make up the ends of the shelf. These are gonna be the open ends, like you see in the picture. We mitered those together. We've got our bottom over there. I actually ran out of plywood, so I'm gonna have to cut the top again out of another sheet of maple. Um, and then we've got the rest of our pieces over here, the center shelves, which are gonna go right in here. <laughs> this is kind of where the easy road ends because the next stuff I have to do is cut dados for the center shelves and uprights and then fit the top and bottom. So this morning we're gonna have to use our brain a little bit more than yesterday. It's not just all cutting and stuff, but it's not bad, you know. I guess what we'll start with is I might just organize myself a little bit, try to get a little of this cleaned up. Put these guys to the side, cut another top out because I need one and then start fixing to rip some potatoes. Hopefully in the right spot. Let's do it.
water basic shape put together. Uh, you can see I put some edge banding on it and I sanded it. One thing I really like to do, that because this is a wall mounted piece, there's going to be outlets. And this is just a really easy way if you've got client work or if you're doing it on your own, to make sure you get those cutouts right. What I did was I just cut a piece of, I don't know, this brown paper, butcher paper or craft paper, whatever you want to call it. I cut it the exact same size as the back of my casing here. Then I gave it to the client and had it mark all of his outlets and studs on here. So now there's really no trial and error as far as getting those cutouts right. What I'll do is I'll just cut the piece of plywood for the back. I'll lay this down on here. Usually what I do is put some carbon paper behind the outlines of where his outlets are. Um, and then I'll just go over it with a pen and transfer all of this information onto my plywood. Then I just cut it out, install the back, and the several times I've done this, it's basically just come out perfect and all the outlets line up with the openings. So hopefully that's a decent tip for you. You can employ this. We'll cut out that piece of plywood and then transfer all this information to that. You'll see how it goes. Guys, that's it for this one. I finished this off with three coats of poly and a coat of wax, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This thing is on its way out the door. I will have plans for this project. Stay tuned for those. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember, always trust your guide. We'll see you next time.